live over at the uh, Prismatic Powders booth here where we have uh, Robbie Layton's new project, or I guess his project he's been working on, the Golden Nugget. Now we're going to be walking around this entire central hall here, which is by far Prismatic some of the oh my busiest God. area of scene. Dane's got to turn down his volume, sorry about that. But we're going to be walking around, checking out some of all the busyness here, all the cool parts and all the cool accessories and all the cool brands here uh, in Grand Central, or I guess you could call this Grand Central. It feels like Grand Central. And uh, yeah, so we're going to do a quick walk around of the gold nugget just kind of show you guys how that's been coming along we did have uh, the PNS friends come out here and do some polishing on this uh, Robbie Layton himself I think is out just cruising around which I don't blame him because we're cruising around so we're gonna take a look at this so Dane what do you know what do you, what do you, what do you know about this thing what do you know I know that it is a Suzuki J20 which is like a precursor to the Jimny yeah so I'm not gonna lie guys I think the paintwork looks amazing on this. I think that it looks like a really cool machine. But uh, back at back at TRC, the HQ, right? We have uh, Gabe Garcia there, who has been talking about this thing for I don't know, four, five months, or however long it's been a project. And he's like, guys, I'm putting this thing on a pedestal. And so when I came out here, I was fully expecting this thing to be on a pedestal, a spinning pedestal at that. Uh, and I realized that this is much smaller than I thought it was. I I was for some reason expecting it to be like a monster truck. And I, here's exactly. size reference. Here we go. Oh, we have Robbie right over here. We'll see what you, what, do you just want to say hi really quick to everybody at TRC? What's going on? How's it going? <laughs> hey, thank you guys for wiping it down and keeping this thing looking awesome. Dude, heck yeah, man, it looks great. I was just talking about how, uh, you know, we, we all, you know, obviously we all watched it on YouTube. And size-wise, we're about the same height, right? I realized this is a very small machine. It is so small. It's it, cute. It is cute. It's the only way to describe this thing is it's just cute. It is cute. It is cute. And uh, yeah, it's got the it's got the motorcycle, it's got everything that's all I mean, it looks great. Did the guys do a good job yesterday? Yes, no, they did an awesome job. I mean you can't even tell it was dirty. You sanded this thing a couple times, right? <laughs> you a couple, couple, couple times. A couple hundred times. A couple, couple hundred times, right? And so does everybody like it so far? I there's been an awesome response. I mean, to see it in person everybody's like, Oh wow, you know, it's well now you know why it's sanded for like a thousand hours. It makes all the difference. It looks great. It looks great, especially with all these. It's it, it's intricate, right? I'm hoping in a couple of weeks I'll have fingerprints again. Maybe. Well, sometimes they don't come back, right? It's great for committing murders. I mean, I mean, uh, what, 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 I, didn't, what, I didn't say anything. All right, so Robbie, we're going to keep cruising around the Central Hall, but thanks for. Uh, hey, thank you guys, and we appreciate the support we're getting from the Rag Company, and we look forward to the future. Heck yeah, man! Thanks, all right, Robbie. we'll catch you around. Head this way, Dane. All right, so. So Anthony, yeah. apparently you're a little hot on the mic. You can actually hold it further away oh, from your okay. face. I'm <clears throat> sorry, guys. The thing <laughs> he gets is, excited. I get excited. Oh wait, and... wait, hold on. We didn't look at this weird. Oh bike. yeah, yeah, we gotta look at the bike too. We gotta look at the bike. Look at this monster. You're a motorcycle <laughs> guy. What would you do with this? I don't know, Dane. <laughs> I don't know. Ride it in a straight line, probably. <laughs> on safe. a sandy beach somewhere, kicking up and little bit in between like that so I get you all right so we're gonna move on Dane um, how's my levels now everybody I checking in pretty saying good. as long as you keep it a little further yeah. away from your face the levels are good well so here's the thing it's pretty loud inside this hall and I'm not gonna lie guys I'm losing my voice so if I squeak and sound like a 12 year old boy don't don't laugh at me it's it's a it's a real thing there's so much I'm, going I'm, on I'm, here I'm, and if people <laughs> think you can just walk up to a thing and be like oh casually go over to that thing I saw online there is it a, doesn't work like there's that. a presentation happening over there right now yeah. it's amazing there's also the too much stuff. information booth. So Dodge is a full simulator for their uh, what? It, what is it, Dane? Their new vehicle? Oh yeah, the the Banshee. Dude, it's it's pretty sweet. But we're gonna check out some other simulators. I want to um, go look at that thing in person. Though, I want to go what see. It looks like, I know. I agree. Um, so I want to stop by the Recaro booth. I want to stop by some other booths. But basically, if there's something that you guys want to see down in the comments, let us know. All right. Um, the Central Hall here. It's got a lot of the guys that have been around in the industry, obviously, for, you know, for many, many years. I've been going to SEMA for many, many years. And so the only real detailing brands in here are going to be McGuire's. I think Mother's is in here as well. Uh, but almost everybody else is out at the West Hall. So uh, most of the detailing was kind of, uh, 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 I don't want to say, uh, it was spread out, basically. It was spread out to its appropriate location. Yeah. So, well, here's Savannah Littles and Juku Racing, oh, yeah. 350Z. Which is happens That's to be sitting cool. on uh, some Koenig wheels. Thanks to our friends over at yes. Koenig Wheels. Shout out to Scott. This thing does look awesome. Yeah, man, she just had to drive this thing. And it still, I mean, it looks really, really good, right? It does. It looks really, really good. So, uh, moving on here. What does do we Coach got, have man? any new products this year? That's what I'm getting a question so on. So, Coach is 
does have some new products, and we're going to be doing a live later on, probably on Instagram, uh, at Coach Kemi. I did not know that this was a whole, uh, did you know this was a whole sitting area day? I did not know that. <laughs> we're going to go around. a whole sitting um, area. So I guess I should say that uh, Coach does have some new products, and so we're going to go over there later in an Instagram live. Uh, we're getting uh, Guff, G-U-F. Uh, which I'm excited for, as okay. well as a couple others. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. I've been, uh, I guess you can say I've been harassing Coach Kemi <laughs> into making me fresh up for men, nice. along with a couple other things. And Has I'm like, yet? I'm trying to stress the importance of it. Oh, and they're kind of like, ah. Uh, One second. We'll see. First generation Ford Lightning. Oh, it's amazing. Truck. Yeah. And the side pipes. I love that. No, it looks awesome. Beauty. It looks absolutely amazing. I you don't really see. I've, you ever no. seen one of those? I've never seen one of those. I've only person. seen a couple. Lady Gaga has one. No way. Yeah. So uh, we got Willwood brakes over here. This is pretty sweet, man. Yeah. Yeah. You want to play with hydro brakes all day? Yeah. I, I honestly, I probably would, Dane. Well, this is more your speed. Ah, uh, dude, I would. What are they? Are they playing at? It's a, they're playing, it's a set of course. It's ACC, but uh, I would be all about this, man. Yeah, that's There's cool. probably a very long line, but that's okay. So check out this, dude. This is pretty yeah. cool. I think we just walked straight good. through here, right? So the reason why we like to stop at the Recaro booth is because <clears throat> our very first SEMA. Actually, oh no, it was God, our, I think right. it was our second SEMA. Second SEMA. We were right across from Recaro, and we had to give them a huge shout out because at the end of SEMA, at the end of the week, right, we were tearing down our booth and we were all so tired and our legs hurt so much that all we wanted to do was sit down. And so we happened to be across from a Recaro booth where they had all the seats there and we happened to have some beers. And so we cracked it open some beers and went and sat in a bunch of really nice, expensive Recaro seats. And we we're like, you know what? I like this company. They leave their <laughs> seats out and we get to sit in them. Very so nice. it's fantastic. So I don't know, Dane, what do you think? What, what seat would you choose? I'm enjoying it. You know, I really enjoyed the uh, kind of vintage style Dude, one they had that had I giant like this. buttons in it. I like no, this. This a one's lot. comfy looking. I like the uh, the shelves on the back. You. That looks really sweet. <laughs> this one is really cool. This one's like fully. Shout yeah, out to got... the TVR Speed 12 hanging out over there. You don't yeah. see those anywhere. This one's sweet. So this is like a vinyl on this material. Ooh. And then we'll come through here. And then so when Jimmy, when Jimmy, oh my gosh, oh, that's a, that's a, the Speed V is what this is. Yeah, okay. Uh, or the, the Sportster GT, but it has this uh, kind of this cool shape. I actually kind of like this. If this was, oh, that's amazing. This is really nice, Dane. This is a really nice, do you want to sit in this? I wish I could, but I have so many things in my pockets I'm oh, carrying, yeah. it's ridiculous. Okay. All right, so moving on, we're going to continue on. So HKS booth is over here. Oh, no. Hey, you might have missed it. At the very beginning, we talked to Robbie there and showed the golden nugget. If you skip to the beginning of the stream, you'll catch it. We did. That is true. So Jimmy He was, was really busy, though, so we only got a little bit of time. Jimmy was in love with this right here. Oh, yeah. Which... Honestly, it looks amazing. So I, I really am. I'm, I'm the, the new, uh, the new 86s. I guess on both Subaru sides and Toyota sides, um, are, are growing on me. Oh man. Oh. Oh, uh, I see a Civic with you, you, speed holes in I it. I know, Dane. That's that's the first I saw that, and I said I gotta come check this out. Amazing. Let me see what this thing's running inside this. Um, How many stickers can you put on a window? That's sweet, man. That's pretty cool. That is cool. B, is B16, B18? 18. 18? Nice, yeah. That's sweet, man. Nice. How's it going? No, no, that's all right. All right, Dane, moving on. All right, moving on. Moving on. S2K oh my gosh, more Hondas. Monster front splitter. Dude, that's sweet. That's pretty Steve cool. Davis says, Andy would DD that. I would DD that. Now, I, I guess, I mean, so most people that watched yesterday, because yesterday was, it was a great stream, Dane, what were most people excited to see? Detailing products, I'm assuming? Yeah. Because this is mostly going to be... Yeah, this hall is not detailing This is very products. performance oriented over here. But I told people I would do a different haul each day, so that's what we're getting. I know, yeah. So, we so got, hopefully you guys enjoy that. 
vibrant performance. We want to give you a taste of SEMA, and this is the best way we know how, because trying to shoot individual stuff would take forever. But walking oh through it in real time, that kind of works. Yeah. Oh, this is clean over here. Man, this is like a lot, a lot of Hondas around here. That's really dope. Drift a bit. Dane, here we go. Oh, another. We have Honda over here. We have, oh, Super Tech. The, the detailing S2000. stuff is in the West Hall, for those wondering. Yeah. That's the hall we're in. This yeah, is not so the hall that we're currently in, though. We're currently in the Central Hall. We are currently in the Central Hall. TRC so is located in the West Hall. This hall, the best way to describe it is that it's extremely congested inside yes. here. And so, this is the um, first spot we've been to where there's actually some room to breathe. Yeah, so it's a... Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right <laughs> on. Uh, one more time. There we go. Yeah. yeah. So... Um, it, it, it's, I mean, it's pretty congested inside here. I'm not, I'm not going to lie, I'll be completely honest. Um, especially over there in like kind of the main area, it get, was getting kind of crazy. So it's everything performance, guys. I don't, I don't really know what else to say. Uh, the detailing space is a little bit more comfortable for us because we can talk to pretty much everything that we see um, in, the, you know, in the paint world, the wrap world, um, all the detailing products, all the different suppliers, and of course all the accessories as well. Like, so for example, Viper Chairs is here today, or, yeah. or here this year, uh, which I think they were here last year, but... Um, were they a guest of somebody last year though? I don't know. We haven't. We didn't get to see the. I, I haven't seen the booth yet, which I'll have okay. to go. Okay. I'll have to go obviously later today and go check yeah. it out. So, moving on from here, Dane. I know it's going to be a lot of the back yeah, of my guys, head. If you feel like we breeze past something too quick, I apologize. We'll really try and like hone in on a few things, but for the most part, there's just way too much to capture in one yeah. sitting. Yeah. I and agree. this is only one hall, and this is one of the like medium-sized halls. Yeah. Do look at this. Got some race bikes. This is the this is strange. Come over, check this out. Dane, do you see anything weird about this S chassis over here? I mean, I could see you rocking a little Indy car. What's that? A little open wheel Indy car. Yeah. Or so, a bike. Perhaps. So, do you notice the front end on that, and then you notice the back end on that? We throw an S15 front end. Yeah. Man, you're not giving me any time to look at these things. <laughs> sorry, Dave. Yeah, no, sorry. Don't go ahead and check it out. Go ahead and check it out. I was just going to give people no, a chance yeah. to kind of. I want to get out of the congestion there. Oh my God, CJ says you need to go to Turbonetics and introduce yourself as the guy's neighbor. Oh yeah. I don't know if I don't think he's actually not here this year, unfortunately. Oh. But I could go up to them and say I am. I'm so and so's neighbor. Yeah. That'd be fun. Oh my God, this thing is ridiculous. Oops, Not my personal style, I but I can appreciate it? the work that definitely that, went into this. You can't, can't say I can sit on unless it's yours. Is that you? I was going to say, oh, look, look at his face, man. <laughs> I, is, that, is that okay? Is that okay for them? Here, Dan, you want to hold that? That's it. Hold that and then hold yeah, that. Yeah, sure. Anthony, going to sit on a monster bike here. Wow. That's pretty sweet, man. This is a uh, wow. It's crazy how low these are, I and mean, it's insane. You're you're a big boy too, so it's I mean. It's a heavy hitter's bike. Yeah. It's a grudge bike made for a big boy. Is it? Yeah. What's on the What's on the rear? Is it like a two? It's like a, a two forty? No, it's got a, a seven inch slick on the back. Seven inch slick, but what's the, what you know the width of it is? It's, it's like seven a inches. seven inches. Okay. Wow. Yeah, man. This is this is nasty. It's pretty sweet. Probably not the most comfortable for a long ride through the mountains, right? But there's other bikes for that. I don't think you're canyon carving with this, buddy. <laughs> no. <laughs> you stick to the drag strip and just beat everybody there. No, thank you. That's dope. Thank you, man. That's awesome. <laughs> All right. Don't forget so, your Pepsi. You know. <laughs> oh, man. No, that's sick. That is sick. Unfortunately, I got so much stuff in my pockets, I don't trust myself no, not scratching. Yeah, no, I'm not no, going to do okay. that. Thank you, it's but yeah, that thing's, that thing's badass, gorgeous. man. Is that is that bagged, or is that, is it, yeah, can, it, can it raise up? It can raise up, right? Yeah, yeah, it's on air. You're going to hold the mic for him if yeah. you're going to talk. Do you want to <laughs> tell us a little bit about it? Oh, you're, oh, you're oh, good, yeah, you're good, you're good, you're good. You caught right when he's eating, yeah, sorry. <laughs> Took a big bite, I know, I'm sorry. <laughs> It's a custom Tombow bagger okay. that we built in my shop in Oklahoma City. Okay. And it's uh, 
it's got dirty air suspension on the front and back, so it raises up and down. Yeah. It's got the trash turbo unit on it, nice. with, and the bike is totally, like I said, built at the shop in Oklahoma wow. City. Dude, what kind of seats on that? Oh, uh, that's a Gator. Yeah. yeah? Yeah, dude, that's nasty. That's sick. I like it a lot, dude. That's way cool, man. Thanks for sharing with us. Thank you, sir. All right. All right. Um, gosh, I don't even know where to... I don't even know where we're going to head next, guys. I'm going to crack cool, cool. open this Diet Pepsi, as Levi would say. Yep. Um, we'll try to, like, what we'll do, when we get when we get to another spot like that where we can kind of do a walk yeah. around of a car, we'll, we'll do more of that. But we got to pick and choose it, those it, moments carefully because like, there is, like, nowhere to walk like in half the spots. Pretty congested. Anyway, we can walk and talk in the meantime. <laughs> Woo! We got a slot machine for liquid molly over here and a line to use it. So this is really cool. Oh, hey, look behind you. What's up? Where, where am I looking at? Super Dude, bright. I know. So this is this happens to be Rad Company Blue. Yeah, it's a good color, my friend. Wait, do you think we can talk Jeff into it, Dane? Think we can get him to, uh, you know, pick up something like this? Sorry. I'm telling you, Dane, I know that you, you still love the IROC Z woman, but I mean, this... This is a good replacement, right? The values are slightly different. Slight, just slightly, right? Just a bit. Big Wayne gang. They want to see some additives from Liquid Molly. Some additives? Okay, let's go check it out. Um, additives from Liquid Molly. So we got some stuff on shelves over there. I see. So I'm I'm, I'm guessing we're gonna go see some fuel stabilizers. We're gonna nice see. Nice RWB, nine nine seven. Excuse me. Oh, this is getting really. Uh... <clears throat> Here we go. So, what would you like to see first? Dino was asking. Anything catching your eye, Dino? Moving down to the next level. Dane, be honest. You ever run anything from Liquid Molly? Be honest. I have not. I haven't either. I really haven't. Honestly. It always looks cool though, and they have great taste in cars. I throw. I typically I throw in the Tecron stuff mm -hmm. for no reason at all whatsoever. Other you than the fact that I like it. Spulung? Diesel something. Um, I'm not seeing that, but if you spot it, you let me know. I see a diesel system cleaner. There's diesel purge, Dane. Found some diesel purge, but that's okay. pretty much about it. So we're going to keep moving on. Ah, he says in the U.S. it's purge. Ah, okay, yeah. So, so you saw that around the corner, yeah. <laughs> So naturally, we're gonna walk away from that. Well, I mean, we'll yeah, I know. Shell, Dane. Oh, this I mean, one's for Levi. Here's a bright pink ass head. And for next day, Nate as well. Nate would love this. Nate would love this too. Heck, Nate's truck is already halfway there. Dude, yeah. That that is ridiculous, though. <laughs> That's sick. Love it. All right. So you one bet, thing, you know. one thing they did really well this year um, are all the restrooms. I think I mentioned that in yesterday's stream. But they have added a ton of restrooms here uh, to the SEMA show, especially over in the West Hall where we are at, uh, which is amazing because there was uh, they pretty much I think limited almost all porta potties. Check this out, Dane. Mm. R32. Nice Son, Jimmy has the same set of wheels. Paint looks amazing. Yeah, it actually does. It's a little, a little micro hard, but it's not that, it's not that big of a deal. It's mostly the color. Oh, it's what's got, up with it's these got the lights. infinity tail lights? I was gonna say these tail lights it's are got crazy. The, it's got the infinity tail lights. They go on forever. Yeah. Yeah. Well, then you got all this. No, this is not the Toyo Tire booth, is this, actually. Is, uh, We're in vibrant performance. The, the Toyo Tire Tread Pass area is much larger. 
Yeah, Do you have the uh, infinity really, tail lights really in the rear? Nicely done yeah. For yeah. Do you, you, don't, you don't have the lights? Can Look you, you turn? Well, oh anymore. dang! That's they're, okay. they're, all right, yeah. all right, all right, all right. Deal. <laughs> I, I, I knew it. I, I had a feeling. I'm like, those are those infinity. Tail. They're, they're really cool, Dane. Um, so I guess coming from around here. So we'll go over and check out the Dodge booth. It's gonna get really congested, but I'm gonna try to do the best I can. Now that looks like a good time. Yeah. So this is what I like to rip around in a in a set of Corsa. Coney Yellows. So it's a Prada. Prada. Um, uh, what's it called? Yeah, it's a Prada. Yeah. It's crazy, Dean. It's that is it's, so it's uh, Prague, Yeah, Praga. Yeah, it's, oh, it's hey, sweet. Oh, hey, Dino, you had a good question there. Would you guys say that the paint jobs this year are better than the last few years? I mean, polish and everything. Like, people are paying more attention to that now. I was asking you, Anthony. What's that? Oh, are you asking me? Do you feel me like the paint jobs are better cared for this year on most of the cars we've seen? Slight, I feel like a lot of them I'd say slightly, yeah. Good. I'd say it's an improvement for sure. Because it look used to the, be you'd walk around here and everything was swirled. Look at the cockpit of that, Dane. Could you get in there? Could you? Could I remember getting into that Nissan Le Mans prototype car, yeah. and that was that was tight, but I fit. You basically, when you get in, there's no graceful way to do it. You just fall, fall in. Yeah, man, it's this is wild. That, like I said, I play this in, in, in a set of course all the time. I play it in the racing simulator. It's a ton of fun. Um, I bet, I bet in person it's got to be wild. So, T. Davis, Dane versus Cockpit. Kind of like Ford versus Ferrari, but slightly less exciting. It's just this whole series where we have Dane fitting into very tight cockpits. Why is this three hours long? Yeah. <laughs> Dane, breathe out. Breathe Guys, out. Guys, it's in real time. We see him age as he does it. Uh, Sam Squatch wants to know what your favorite part was of the show so far. Oh, gosh. Um... Also, we so, need to go look at the new Dodge because yeah. we have to. <clears throat> so I'll say that roughly my, my favorite part, I don't know, guys. I mean, <laughs> there's a there's so much that, we, so we haven't even experienced uh, a 50th of what's going on here. Like not even like I have like an experience. We've been working the booth obviously, but I would say my favorite part, I, I think it's just seeing everybody, all, all everybody in the detailing industry that we're so close with, because it's always like a family reunion, and uh, that's always fun. I mean, we, I love seeing everybody, because it's been a few years yeah. since we've all been under one roof like You're this. You're holding a Diet Pepsi, by the way. That's oh, not a Diet yeah. Coke. No, they thought uh, yeah. Levi get mad at you. No, no. <laughs> uh, and it's been a couple years, and so it's been great to see everybody. But So here, for example, McGuire's, uh, McGuire's will always be here yeah, in the Central Yeah, they always Hall. had a really awesome booth. Um, so McGuire's... Obviously, uh, and then mothers as well. I mean, but they'll almost always be here. I, I don't ever imagine they'll make it to the West Hall unless they were forced to, just because they've been such a long time. Your grandfather is correct. Yeah, but and unless somebody moves, there's no space. Um, Super B. Yep, that's pretty cool. It's I want to cool go color. further back though. I'm really wondering if we'll see the new Charger thing concept. This right here, Dane? Oh, this is the new Hornet, based on the Alfa Romeo Tonali. So there's something spinning around oh, in the middle. Oh, that's it. Yeah. Okay, guys. We're going to go take a look at the Charger Banshee concept. We'll make our way up front as we're able. I think it's loud enough. Yeah. Did this like just happen? Oh, that's their new Hurricane B6 or inline six. It's cool to see a torture testing it. Yeah. Borla's making sounds for EVs now. Is that a joke? Or are they really doing that? Umberto, I don't know. Are they?
I've been really well, curious to hear this thing in person because in videos it always came off a little shrill. I don't think they're gonna. But I'd be really curious if they did. I know they won't in this case, but I don't think they can. The lines on it look a lot better too in person. Yeah. I gotta say, guys, like I was fairly complimentary on the the lines of the body, but I thought that the roof line was a little strange because I had to make for the back passengers having headroom. Yeah. However, in person, I think it actually lines pretty nicely. And I'm not a Dodge guy, yeah. but it looks real good. Yeah, for me, it's all about how that greenhouse is shaped. And I actually have a color swatch, so I've already got that kind of planned out, it looks like. Nobody wants to get in the way of anybody else. <laughs> Could use some more fog, some more cowbell. Uh, it also looks like they put different wheels on it. Oh, sure. Yeah, of yeah. course, yeah. Oh, sorry, yeah. All right, guys, that's been a look at that. So now we can move on. And by the way, here's the Hornet. Sorry. Ooh, it is tight. Yeah, so if you missed that, that's the new Charger concept. Basically what they're replacing the... Uh, Charger and Challenger with potentially at least an EV version. Okay. Oh man. Ooh, yeah. We do have to go look at the cars in the Meguiar's booth oh, though, yeah. because Abs they're always incredible Absolutely. and impeccable. No, these are well done. These are some of the most like honestly. This blue paint looks incredible so, the, here. In the diffused light, it, oh, mean, it looks God. amazing. So, uh, yeah. I'm telling you, this diffused light, like we need this in the TRC these studio. These lights in the booth are doing some real work here. This is amazing. Those wheels are incredible. Dude. Huh. BSU interior. Dane, do you right. like you like blue cars? Cuz I'm not I'm not like I'm not like huge on blue cars, no, but, but like blue when it's a good blue. When it's a good blue. This and the Supra in our booth both have really good oh, blues. Oh yeah. Yeah. Like the flake and all that. See, there's people really that have already to give touched this to my them. grandpa as a work truck. Oh boy. <laughs> I don't know if it would survive long. And then... <laughs> oh, and then if that wasn't enough, dark blue paint, you got dark, well, black paint, looking just... The only mark against it I'm seeing is some like stray dust and stuff. So no, so a lot of the dust. I mean, it honestly, comes from the carpet. So yeah, when they lay down the carpet, yeah, so a lot it, of everything, stuff on the everything just day. starts getting up. So, oh my God, credit where credit's due. You can look tell at, it's look incredibly, at that. incredibly clean underneath. Yeah, that is beastly. Yeah, that's beautiful too. Yeah, that's awesome. All right. Okay. Um, you want, you oh, keep... oh, right behind you, Magnaflow here. Yeah, we Check out what they've got with the new Z. Oops, sorry. Sorry, guys. Got to forward through the river of people here. Yeah, oh, it is. Yeah, no, it's getting busy now. I like this half and half Volkswagen bus. Okay. So there's the Z right there, Dane. Yeah, this Z looks nice. It looks, this color is beautiful, too. The HREs. Yeah, so that's the Street Hunter kit. Both these cars they look amazing. Ooh, that it just yeah, it was a so close call. See, this guys, is what happens guys. to SEMA guys. So I'll be every time. So yeah, Dana, come over Square. here. I'm going to be honest with everybody for a quick second. Um, so. Everybody thinks it's a great thing to have your car here at SEMA. I would never have one of my cars here at SEMA. It is, it is, by. yeah. I would, what, who, who did? Oh, no, I, I thought I just walked past TJ there, but, oh. Oh, I don't know. 
Um, I just would never have a carcinoma. Anyways, just because of just I how... I out of the corner of my it, eye, but I was like, wait, that kind of sounds and looks like... Yeah, but it was too late. So the reason why I say that is, mainly, it, honestly, it's just because there's so many people, and I'm so meticulous about things that... Uh, I know many of you guys are watching really meticulous about things. It's like if you come out to your car after the show's over, there's a scratch, there's a dent or something like that, you'd be like, dang it. And people are walking pretty close to your stuff. I'm not going to lie. Like, really, really close. Whoa, Anthony, you walked right yeah. past the Civic. I did. Oh, my God. That is clean. <laughs> that looks nice. Dude. A little crazy. Yeah, no, that's wild, man. That's good. I can't really, yeah. Uh, There's can't. 10 NSXs of swap K-Series assessment so far. That looks great, Dane. Oh, Throttle built that? Yeah, I think so. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Man. Okay, every time I try and get some video, it's just like, holy yeah, cow, no, I'm guys, getting run guys, over, we're guys. Getting, we're getting ran over. This hall is here. busy. So, oh, that smells like marijuana now. Sure is. Uh, <clears throat> I mean, it's Vegas, so. Yeah, it's Vegas. It is what it is. <laughs> but, no, going back to what I was saying, okay, now it's more breathing room. Uh, yeah, like, I think it's like, it's got to be a privilege, obviously, to have of your car that you've worked hard on to be shown at SEMA, but at the same time, I'd just be stressed out. <laughs> I'd be like walking past mine like all the time, being like, "Like, is there anything on it? Is there a scratch on it? Have they touched it?" Yeah, it would. Uh, yeah, it would definitely get to me with time. But, anyways, each their own though. Everybody's happy. Um, yeah, we're just cruising, so we're checking out, kind of doing a perimeter check, and then walking through. US. But as far as the show goes, it is overwhelming. If you're not used to this kind of environment, yeah. it's a lot. Yeah. We're going to maybe cut through the middle over here, Dean. So there's Bill's scene. That looks like a cool booth. We'll go check that out. Yeah, sure. Um, everybody's been to say, so Jimmy and everybody has said that go to the go to the Toyo booth outside. It's pretty yeah. amazing. We'll check out the um, truck I still definitely want to check out the South Hall because I want to go see all of the uh, wheels and tires and other restylings over there. Rambo over here. Oh my God, Dane! Look at this. That's a Unimog, and then some. Jesus! Look at those Oh my tires. God! Look at the flex on <laughs> That's that. That's a beefy boy there. Bill Time doing what they do. Things massive. Oh, I love that. Fake fire pit. That's pretty cool, That's man. An interesting choice. Fake fire pit, That's and then. R8 over here. I think I just saw great value DDE. <laughs> Did you? It's been fun seeing all the doppelgangers for people you think might be the person, then they're not. And uh, I don't know if we can cut through here, but I'm going to do it. I don't think this is how you leave the booth, but whatever, we yeah, just did. We yeah, we just did it. That's fine. That's beautiful right there. Oh, wow. Yeah, that 57 is gorgeous. Pictures don't do it justice. All right, we are continuing on. So, guys, okay. if you're watching and you enjoy seeing Oops, sorry live stream, SEMA content, right beamed into your house or on your phone or wherever. Do you guys Click like right now. We're going to, so we're, here's what we're going to do. We're going to attempt to see mothers and then we're going to wrap around Toyota and we'll probably oh, yeah. end it here. We got to show Toyota um, because otherwise Gabe uh, will riot. Yeah, no, we're going to, so we'll see mothers. We'll wrap around a Toyota and I think that we're going to try to probably end this one and then we'll probably start up another one once we get outside and maybe get into the South Hall section. It's just, yeah, it's, yeah, it's, well, I can keep it running because I did all the prep work on this one okay, with tags okay. and description. I'll oh, just good. keep it rolling for the guys while we walk. Okay, I just know that this is this is the busiest so much. this is the busiest <laughs> hall we've been in. I, well, so I've been in so far, uh, and I don't really know I don't even know where the heck to go, what to do. Dane, what's that over there? Where are we looking? That small car over there. Go check it out. What is it? Oh, it's a factory five car. Oop. Oh my God! Is this a it's a Maserati? Or what, what is this? No, it's a it's factory a, five. It's a factory five. Kind but of it like looks like it, yeah, it 40, looks like that. But it's not quite. No, but this kind of looks like that one Maserati. No, wait, there's a guy. There's a guy you in Idaho who, who about? has one of these. Have you, you, you know that blue Maserati that I'm talking about that you can play in video games? It kind of looks like this. Yeah, you're talking about the MC12. Mm-hmm. 
Mm -hmm. Does that not look like this? Or you think it looks a little like it. It looks a little like it. Okay. Although that one has a uh, formed in wing on the back. Yes, you are correct. But uh, still. So we have AFE power, awesome. we have Holly. Make your way over to Mother's. Um, yes, Aaron, Pan the Organizer is here. He's over at the Turtle Wax booth for most of the days. We've actually talked to him a few times. Now there's a Daytona Coupe. All right, so um, do we want to see what, what products Mothers has on display here? Let's yes, go run over here, check it out. So I have not used any of this, to be honest. Um, so CMX surface, prep, C CMX, CMX surface prep, ceramic spray coating, ceramic washing coat, ceramic three-in-one polishing coat, ceramic and trim, and then down here we have uh, ultimate hybrid. So basically a car wash, bead booster, bead booster with a one-step ceramic clay and coat, ceramic detailer, ceramic wax, and ceramic spray wax. What's the difference between a ceramic, wa oh, a spray wax and ceramic, okay, gotcha, that makes sense, okay. And then over here, Old Faithfuls. So I'm not gonna lie, Dean. I used California Gold Car Wash from yep, Mothers for quite some time, and um, along with along with Meguiar's Gold Class for a very long time. That was back in the day, man. That was when I was much younger. But oh, Anthony, this is the new Ring Brothers build. This one? Yeah, this thing's this is insane. Crazy. Look at the the Owens on the back. The reservoirs there. <clears throat> Man, you gotta go around to the front. It's open wheel I, up there. It looks yeah. really cool. I'll try to make it around through this way. Okay, this is pretty cool too, though. Look at those fenders. I mean, it defeats the purpose, but it's cool for show. It's wild, man. Look at these headers. Whoa. That is, that is gnarly. Look at that whole front end. It's no, just it's insane. Yeah. Insane. No, it's insane. I wouldn't want to ever polish this thing out, but I mean, you know. I will say, like, guys, you see this color. This color looks pretty nice on camera. It's in insane in person. person. There's, there's is, pinks, there's reds, there's like everything. It goes almost all the way to black and then comes back to like this cherry color that's just gorgeous. There's so much yeah. like shift with well, in like, the color. like right there it looks red, right there it looks pink, right there it looks purple, right there it looks pink, right there. You know what I'm saying? There's the, the depth there's is absolutely insane. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna go around to the front That's, end of the yeah, Ring Brothers yeah, build. Yeah, that is, front. yeah, go for it. That is something I gotta see. Oops, sorry guys. Don't mind me, just coming around to get a shot of a yes. Oh my God, with the pumpkins in it yeah, too. Yeah, pumpkins dude, on the sick. velocity stacks, that's fun. All right, now we can get a little closer. Shoo. Yeah, I have these humongous slicks on it. HREs. Yeah, I know. That is that's, that is a that's, look right there. That is nuts. Well, okay. I will say that is some craftsmanship right there. All right, let's go look at Toyota. Let's see what they're doing up there. Yeah. <clears throat> It's overwhelming. I'm not going to lie. Toyota well, to? so what happened was the first, the, oh, Moon Eyes over there. That's pretty sweet. You want to go check out Moon Eyes uh, real quick? Yeah, that's pretty yeah. cool. I just, Moon Eyes is classic. Classic stuff, dude. Also, it kind of took on a life of its own in Japan, too. I know. That's sweet. Steering wheels. So we kept trying to tell Levi that he needs to make discs for, uh, or he needs to get some discs uh -oh. for the launcher. He needs to get that bike is what he needs to do. Look at that. That's sick. Yeah. That's a Levi bike. The Moon Streetliner. That's awesome. Super cool. I mean, who doesn't yeah. love Moon Eyes? It's I know. classic. It is classic. All right. So, all right, moving on. We'll go we'll ahead right, to Toyota booth. Toyota. Yeah. Uh, coming up. Um, but what I was trying to say was that <clears throat> we haven't done this in so many years. Well, well, you know, as big as it is, that I, I forget how big it is. It's insane. Great turnout. 
Yeah, it's actually been great. Oh, this is the new electric uh, Lexus supercar concept. Potential LFA successor. Well, Dean, right here. let's go see it. Oh, wow. That's cool. Pretty gnarly looking. What do you think, Dean? I like it. Clean lines, more simple. So the, the hood, uh, the, the hood, the, you know, the, the hood clamps don't really make any sense to me. I don't really know what those are doing. Yeah, that there. part's a little weird. I just love a long hood. We'll go around the side, give you guys a better perspective of it. Sorry. Okay. Wow, that that rear end does something funny. Wow. That was not what I was expecting in the rear. No, it like droops. It's almost like a Mercedes CLS or something where it just like at the back. It's like your BMW Z3, Dane. <laughs> it's like, what's going on here? These taillights are crazy. Guys, I don't know if you can see the detail in these Dane, things. those taillights stress me out. Give me, little, give me detail, fact, give me detail factory too. brushes. You're going to need to get it's in there. A little bit. Wow. That's some work, though. Oof. Yeah, and they got the same hood pins on the back. Yeah. Which is interesting, to say the least. All right. Do you want? Is there anything else you want to see from Lexus? I mean, let's want to go see SUVs. SUVs on HREs. Oh, there's a. RCF. There's a. Yeah, let's go see the RCF. Yeah, I was gonna say you, you like the RCF. I like the RCF. We'll go check that <clears> out. <throat> All right, guys. I hope you're enjoying this ride so far. <clears throat> we apologize that both of us are losing our voices. It's been. No, no, it's okay. It's been a lot of talking. We're making it work, guys. I, I don't think if you've never been here, you don't realize how taxing. Just this whole experience is on the body. Oh, sorry about that. Oh, this is a straight-up race car, man. And this IS is great crazy. Great design, being intuitive technology, and of course, performance and reliability. Good afternoon, welcome to Lexus. My name is David. I am a product specialist here with the brand, and we do want to welcome you to our space here at SEMA. You are the reason that we're here, so we love that you are here checking out our vehicles, exploring what it is the brand has provided for you in terms of inspiration. Those, the Advans look good on the car, Those too. wheels, I'm drawn yeah. to those, yeah. Yeah, they look really good on the car. It. We, of course, have our partners who helps create what you're looking at here at our display. So, yeah, the five-spoke works on that with a concavity on them. Mitchell, I hear you. Get to know what we have on display. Ask questions that are important to you. Our team is Mitchell, I wish there was an LCF also. Yeah. Unfortunately, there doesn't appear to be. Ooh, don't look at those pillars too closely. Yeah. And then let us know what yep. you'd love to know, and we will do All right, that. Dane, we're going to head LX Toyota. Toyota is next. <clears throat> On to the Yoda. TRD Pro Tacoma. Oh, now they're stamping TRD Pro into the side? You didn't know that they were doing that yet? No, I thought it was just stickers still. No, they're stamping them, man. Dane, what are your thoughts? Now that the, the uh, what is, wait, what is this? Here's a Sequoia. Yeah, it's a Sequoia. They put the same front end on the. Yeah, they did. <laughs> These are both sequoias, but this color is cool. It's like construction orange, but look at the flake in the it. The flake in it, yeah. Ah, dude, that's pretty sweet. You can't really tell in, like, photos, but this does have a good amount of flake in it. Yeah, you can it. see it in there. Pretty, pretty good, yeah. Never mind the marring. <laughs> Very cool. Sorry. Oh, I'm like here. looking around for answers. Sorry, he's waving his hand way over got, here. Yeah, got crazy. They got crazy in there. There's some it's a mosh pit. Classic. It's a pit. Yeah, it really this is. is. This is badass, man. Ooh. I'm sorry. I am so sorry. Yes. You're walking through people's pictures all day long and you won't even know it's happening. 
Gabe is probably sitting at, a, sitting at his desk, yeah. drooling. I know, I know. Oh my God, they had a six-wheeler over here? Dude. I've seen six-wheelers of a lot of things, but not a cruiser. Yeah, I made it uh, over there, yeah. yeah. All right, if somebody would please report the porn bot, that would be awesome. Thank you. What is that? Oh, there's just a porn bot going off in the comments. Thank you so much. Uh -huh. Just report them. That'd be great. It's all right. Thanks. Okay, we're going to head this way, Dan. We're going to cut through and back. All right. Secretly. We're going to squeeze past you here. Excuse me. Thank you, Hans. So I feel like this is Nate's next, next move, right? This yeah. is a Nate vehicle. Yeah. He went from the Tacoma to Sorry, the Tundra. Sorry, guys, just going to shake for a minute. I'm adjusting the camera on it's the gonna stand. going to go to the other Tundra. It's going to get a little crazy. Whew. Okay, there we go. Should work fine now. <clears throat> so, yeah. what is, uh, Dean, what is a trail hunter? I think that's a new package. And if not, then it's just a concept that they're playing with for SEMA. It's badass. It's a nice kit, though. It gets you pretty much set for uh, all your outdoorsy needs that you'll probably never actually do. What are you trying? You're saying that I'll, Dane, I would absolutely go off-road. I'm saying there are a lot of people out there who buy a lot of Overland gear who never actually take their thing off-road. Dane. More than a gravel road. Dane, my uh, Dodge Ram 1500 sees lots of off-road. In the comments there, you know I'm right. Sees lots <laughs> of off-road. It goes into unpaved parking lots. It sometimes parks on the side yeah, of a road and White's shoulder. Like, That's a great truck to go grocery shopping in. Well, I love this, Dane. This is fun. I'm going to sit down. <sighs> okay, they got the campy vibes. Now, this is how you sell accessory products. This All is right. amazing. This is great. I mean, very yeah. thoughtfully done. This is pretty much, oh, I got a drink holder right here. But this is what I would consider to be the vibe, Dane. Yeah, yeah. Basically, as a Toyota owner myself, right, load up the 4Runner, right? Yeah. Get you know a couple coolers in here, a couple playmates, Coleman's, get the grill, get everything loaded up. I'll even bring my, the flooring with me. I'll bring some AstroTurf, some lighting, go set it up somewhere up in the woods and enjoy everything, right? The nature, the TVs, the electricity, and everything that, you know, is you need it, right? All those things. So, like a fire pit. What's that? Like a fire pit. Like a fire pit. Oh, yeah, and a fire pit. But I'll bring my own fire pit, of course, oh, okay. right? Uh, I like this a lot. This is probably uh, most relaxing. The most relax. So you should sit down. <clears throat> I should. I have so many things in my pockets, though. In I your don't back trust pockets? To... Yes, uh, I have a big battery bank in there. It might feel good. I have a big bank in my back pocket. Oh, you do yeah, have a big bank. Yeah, that's what I've been told. Oh yeah. <laughs> um, I do gosh. want to drink my Pepsi though. So tell you what, I'm going to hand you this, okay. and you can either face it out or towards yourself. All whatever right, you want to do. Dane. Welcome. I'm just going to give myself a drink of. I'm telling you guys, this is great. Diet Pepsi. Get everything I need here. I'm going to light this fire here at. Sea. Yeah. What if can I? You do? imagine lighting a fire here? Don't. I don't think that's I wouldn't do it. That's not a good idea. All right, we're going to keep cruising along here. Um, What's that nice looking SUV in the background? Uh, the Forerunner, perhaps? Are you talking about the Forerunner behind me? Probably behind me over here. Let's oh, the we'll, Sequoia behind you. Yeah, we'll get up. We'll get up and start It's walking. a TRD off road Sequoia. So, oh, it's a Sequoia. Yeah. That is pretty. It looks like it has Sit a huge rooftop tent, too. Making our way downtown, walking fast. Okay. Soverland, ex Soverland. All right, now this is where I wanted to be. Oh, now we're getting uh, into the fun area. There you go, Dane. Yeah. So, we got some this is, Corolla. this looks a lot better with the spoiler on the rear. It's closest you're gonna get to one for a while. Corolla Circuit Edition, vehicle is locked. Man, Gabe says check forged. the YouTube poll, which I would if I could see it. Unfortunately, forged where I'm at, I cannot see anything. With a spoiler. All I can see is a live readout. I apologize, so, Gabe, but I cannot um, see that. And if oh, you're, I you're, it, you're good. It you're won't good, be man. recording. Uh, so, so I will say that. that this thing is a lot wider than what you think it is in person. You see how much these fenders kick out. It's pretty crazy. Um, and then the rear bumper ties in together really, really well. It's, it's really good looking. What would you say, Dane, in terms of comparison to mid-2000s, what is this car of the most vibes? What does it vibe with the most? What does it remind you of? Mm. 
I mean, obviously the GR Yaris is the obvious comparison, but something else I'm, I would I'm say... I'm saying mid-2000s, like, because like, this is what this kind of car, you know, brings me back to mid-2000s, right? You're basically getting an all-wheel drive turbo, yeah. manual, what does it bring But you? in a hatch, I so, mean, that's the part that's different. I, I get, I get, I Maz, I get Mazda hatch. Speed vibes. Mazda Speed 3. Okay, Mazda Speed 3 but vibes. That's, that's mid-2000s, yeah. Mid-2000s, that's what I'm saying. I don't know, I don't, it's not Evo vibes, uh... Maybe later, later on, WRX hatch vibes. Hatch yeah, vibes. Yeah, that would, be, that would be the right vein. Although the thing with the, yeah, power's close. Yeah. One less cylinder. Holy t- so look, in look, my look. opinion, it sounds better. Look at the amount of tire shine on this. This is insane. It's wow. insane amount of tire shine. Uh, if you check your phone, Gabe keeps saying to check a YouTube poll. And really, uh, he screenshotted it because if I try and pull it up on here, it's going to pause the live stream and I don't want to do that. All right. Uh, should Anthony Dane show the inside of the new Sequoia? It's a 75% yes. Um, okay. Okay, let's see if we can get over okay. into Okay. <laughs> we can see if we can. Let's go. Most of these, I don't know to be fair, we... mostly say this vehicle is locked and you cannot open them up. Yeah. <clears throat> we're going to have to do some serious walking. I don't think we can. Dane, was there one over there that we could go inside? So, gate key is saying show the interior of the new vehicles. I don't think he realizes they're all locked. They're all locked. Um, I'll try. We'll try. Don't say, don't say I didn't try. We're going to see if we can get into this one. Unless this is a line. That is a heck of a setup. He said there was a red one when we first entered the booth. There might be. <clears throat> red one. Orange one. Oops, sorry. I'll give you a second. <laughs> I love that retro jet ski on there, that Wave Runner. Sick. Oh, and you got a tri-can setup. Dane, here you go. Scheme. Very cool. All right. So this like one, okay. This must have been what he was talking about. That's pretty sweet. Here we go. Yeah, there you go. Seats. That, that's, that's a ridiculous amount of space in the middle there. I mean, it is a Sequoia, so you I know, expect but it to be pretty big inside. It's pretty good. But no, that's, uh, that is roomy. It's nice you got screens on the rear windows. You should go over to the driver's side, Dave, because uh, there's nobody over there. Well, that's a oh, big no, tablet in the center. Well, compared to the old Sequoias, I can't get worse gas so, mileage Look than at the, old the ones. fender flares. Look at the, the, the pattern on those. I mean, a it looks like it's plastic, but it's like going after a yeah. forged carbon look almost. Ooh, excuse me. That's a massive screen. That is huge. I like the floor mats. I like, I, I mean, I like. I really like the paint on this. That's the part that's really getting me is just the quality of the paint. It's very cool. And, you know, it's a small thing, but the do- hinges on the doors let them go out a lot further than many you see these days, yeah. so that's nice to see, too. This goes further than, than the Forerunner, for sure. Yeah, and you got screens on these. Easy peasy. Sweet. That's pretty cool. I could see one of these in either uh, Gabe's or Nick's future. I would prefer this over the future. that you currently have. I would agree with you, Dane. Yeah. I would say yes. I would say that this is, would be much more um, family-friendly. Is that the word I would say? Also, the, I believe it's powered by a Turbo 6. So the, so the 4Runner is family-friendly, obviously. It, it, it's great for that kind of stuff. But that the room that that offers is obviously much more. And, yeah. um, or it's possibly a hybrid 6. No, it's a twin turbo. Okay, because they have a turbo one, but they also have yeah. a hybrid one. It said double. The Pro is said something turbo, double though. turbo V6. Just okay. for the new stuff, it's a little out of my wheelhouse. 
Yeah, because every single one other one of these has this on the window. Yeah, all of them have that. Most of them do. There you go, iForce Max Hybrid. All right, Dane, we'll jump to the black carpet over here. We'll Tell you what, back. Anthony, if you don't mind, snap me a few pictures. That would be a good thumbnail for this video so I can show we are in the central hall when I post it later. Oh, yeah, I could do something like that. Yeah, there, there you go. go, big crowds and stuff. That'd look great. Bam. Bam. Thank Got you, you that's Dane. perfect. Got you, Dane. And then... Or maybe one of the Toyotas here, too, just because you get a nice broad shot. That'll work. Yeah. All right. We got a rally concept rally here. Concept. That's fun. That's awesome. So which one are you taking, Dane, out of everything here in the mm. booth? What are you taking? I mean, these Supra's got drags on the back. I'm definitely into the GR Corolla, though. I think that's a really yeah. terrible That's definitely my speed. Now, I haven't seen this color in person, Anthony. This is interesting. See well, how so, so one, thing, you, one thing, let me see if you'll notice this, Dane. Um, what do you see different about this car? Oh. Wah. We've been missing those. How's that? Yeah, that's right. It's got a manual. Yeah, sweet. That's awesome. That's sweet. Next, give us the target top and I'm yeah. sold. Little by little. You just keep chipping away. Eventually they'll Give us cave. the target top. <laughs> Um, all right, Dane, I am going to <clears throat> get, actually give you the microphone for a quick second. I'm going to go run to the bathroom really quick. All right. And I'll be right back. All right, guys. Well, you're stuck with me while Anthony makes a quick run. I'll follow him just to make sure we don't lose him this time. But uh, that should do the trick. And, you know, you get a sense of actual SEMA experience. You see this hallway. It is madness. Just madness. All right, Anthony's running ahead. But thank you to everybody who so far has tuned in. We're not ending it just yet. He's taking a quick little pee break, but we'll be all right. Um, I think we wanted to do a little walk around outside, so we can look forward to doing that as well. Um, do you know where the bathroom is? Sorry? Bathrooms? There you go. There's a cool S2000 up here. Yeah, as I say, this thing looks uh, kind of crazy. That spoon hardtop on it. Yeah, it looks fast backy. And uh, I cannot stress enough how much my feet are absolutely killing me right now. So that's uh, real, real fun. Just in case you've ever wondered what it's like to be at SEMA, um, it's exciting, it's overwhelming, and mostly it's pain. <laughs> Uh, Gabe says he wants to run some polls, and I say, go ahead, Gabe. Go ahead and run some polls. Let's see what else you guys think up, and I'll have Anthony check him out when Gabe can screenshot. I brought four pairs of shoes with me this year because I knew I'd have to rotate a bunch. Without that, I don't know where I'd be. <laughs> it's crazy. Oh, there we go. The M3 with the Skeletor face. Red Skull face. <laughs> All right. So we're going to hang out here for a minute, wait for Anthony, and we'll probably take the show outside. <clears throat> Curious about the food court, G. Davis. Well... Over in the West Hall where we were at, at the food court was uh, pretty sizable. I mean, I put it up kind of in the vein of like a large mall food court. There were probably about seven or eight different little semi-fast restaurants you could go to in there. But the food situation as you come out into these other buildings definitely changes as well. So anyway, I'm hanging out here in the middle, kind of a little interim break. You guys need to go do anything for a minute or two while I wait for Anthony. Don't feel bad. We'll go ahead and get rolling as soon as he comes back. But if you're hanging around while you wait, if you wouldn't mind, 
Clicking like on this video, it helps us get out in front of more people, maybe share it with a friend who missed out on SEMA and wants to see what it's like. We're giving you a first person experience at it, so I think there's some value in that. Even if you're not into detailing, a lot of the stuff we're showing today is not detailing related, so that's okay. How big is the TRC crew this year? TRC crew this year, we brought, let's see, we got two Joshes. We got Jeff, Carolyn, myself, Anthony, Jimmy, uh, John, and Juan, and well, we have Jack from Starnagloss. We've got quite a few of our like distributors and side people as well, so it's been a real mix. Ah. All right, and All right. we're back. No, I feel, so I feel much better, Dane. I had to go for far too long, but let's uh, <laughs> head outside. So, you wash your hands, right? Of course I wash my okay. hands, Okay, I'm handing you the mic, and I'm like, you know, maybe only, I don't want it back. It was only, it was only with water, though. Oh, uh, there's, okay. They ran out of soap, sorry. Uh, no, I'm kidding. So, let's hey. see. Thank you, Georgina. I'm glad you got a chance to see the live stream here, and I'm glad we're able to kind of give you a, a little first-person look at how things are going here. So hopefully it gives you the feeling of SEMA without actually having to go. So it's up to you guys. We can head out to... I told them we'd go outside. You're going to head outside? Okay, we'll head out. outside. Okay. There's a lot of good stuff out there. Dane, how are your legs feeling? Uh, like garbage, but we're doing this, so... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yours can't be feeling that great. Um, they felt they felt better. Yeah. They've also felt worse. But riding in the Tesla in the boring tunnel on the way over here definitely was a nice little break. Yeah, I agree with you. But uh, yeah, so what are some of the side note interesting things that have happened just in the time we've been here? SEMA related, of course. Oh my God, oh, that's a dodge for you, Dane. Oh boy. Some yeah. of the more interesting things that have happened. Um. I don't know. We saw we saw Matt yesterday. Talked to Matt. Obsessed hung, Garage yeah, Matt. Uh, Obsessed Garage Matt. Hung out with him for a little bit. He's on uh, the stream if you're looking for it. Oh, cool. And then we also talked to Pan a little bit yesterday. And I, I mean, there's always interesting things that happen. There's a, there's a bunch of people that have stopped by the booth, obviously, that wanted to see Freddie's car. Um, I wouldn't say anything like mind blowing though, right? Like, Dane, if you were to see anybody here at SEMA, who would you be like excited to see or surprised to the see? The first year I came here, I was blown away and super excited to meet Jonathan Ward from Icon. Yeah. I and Levi just, made friends I with him. I was really shocked with that because Levi just walked up to him and was like, hey, Jonathan. And Jonathan's like, hey, Levi. And I'm like, what the? I'm like, wait, wait how, just, like, how do you know? you talking to him? I'm like, how do you guys know each other? You can do that? <laughs> it's the weirdest thing. Levi does that with everybody, though. Levi did that with Rutledge, Rutledge Wood. He literally said, Rutledge. And Lee goes, Levi. And I go, how? How is this happening? It's hilarious. Gabe says, take a look at the live poll now. Gabe, you're going to have to forward me all of the pictures from the live poll. We are heading outside. We're not going back in. So I know if you want to see Correct. more Toyota stuff, it's not going to happen. <laughs> um, moving on here. Yeah, I don't know if we can take a look and look at live polls while we're streaming. I don't, I don't, I don't believe we can. And Gabe, I would say stop texting both Anthony and I because it keeps showing up on my screen and I'm afraid if I'm going to tap it, it's going to close the stream. So I don't want to do that. Just text Anthony directly. Thank you. All right. Gosh, guys, it is. It, it, you, it, is it look packed on camera? That's what I'm wondering. If because it feels packed. That's a Veilside oh, yeah. FDRX7 back there. You kind of missed yeah, it. Yeah, that, no, that's TJ Hunts. He got enough attention. <laughs> Just kid I'm kidding, but I mean, at the same time, I'm kind of serious. We'll, we'll head outside. Sorry if this is a little chaotic and jumpy, guys. It's just, <sighs> this is what the show is like. So we, we, I can show you McLaren P1 outside, which some of you might be excited about. Uh, but I really want to go see if they're doing any type of drifting or doing anything like that, because I think that would be the coolest thing to see. Very entertaining. So it's also a strange feeling because when you're walking around SEMA, I make eye contact with a lot of people who, you know, they look at me and I look at them and I go, do I know you? But like, you know what I'm saying? It's like that, that brief moment of like, do we know each other? Yeah, there's but a lot then, of that because then, there's a lot of people who know us that we don't know. Well, no, or there's other people that I know that I mean, yeah. I watch on YouTube. And they're expecting you to that, respond like, and I, you don't have anything because you don't know. Well, I, well, I, well, I don't know because I see people that I think I know that I've met before, but I can't quite pinpoint it. So uh, it's going to get a little so windy out here, 11. but you guys will like this. A little bit more breathing room too. It's a big boy Baja. Stop this guy's tech been breaks. working on these for such a long time. They are awesome. 
This BRZ looks Ooh. good too. Looking good, looking good. On so the six. There is, yeah. There's been a ton. There's been a ton of these 86s. Yeah, there really have been. I mean, it's Broncos. It's eight sixes. I'm bummed, but because you know, because you know what I wanted to see, Dane, right? Huh. But you know, it, what it was it is the timing wasn't correct. Hmm. Guess you know what I wanted to see. What do you want to see? What's the most obvious thing that Anthony would have wanted to see that just recently came out? Something Honda related? Yeah. What is it? Say it. Uh, Civic Type R, Dane. Oh, that. See, the problem is I I just don't care about the Civic Type R, so I didn't even register. It's <laughs> the rudest thing you've ever said to me, Dane. <laughs> So, uh, come over here, though. At least I'll show you an, an Integra. Maybe it's just because I kind of felt like they they obviously worked on it, but it kind of felt phoned in. Not even, what does it mean? And what is this line for, man? Uh, Motor Trend? Red Cap? What is this? So, what this is, is the only place in the world you're going to find so a So, what do they do? So I want to know what they're doing. Slammed Forerunner next to a P1. Yeah, I know. So, are they doing? Are they? They're doing t custom shirts. I think is what they're doing. Yeah, yeah, it is. Okay. <laughs> the people who make eye contact with Anthony think he's Chris Fix. Oh yeah, people Dude. are asking for Rob Dom's RX-7. I don't know where that's at. I don't know. I, I I'm so you know that a lot of the other YouTube cars are in the South Hall. Which yeah. is down that way. Which I'm planning to do tomorrow. Tomorrow? Okay, so we'll do that tomorrow. So we'll, we'll do a tour of that hall tomorrow. So we'll head but back outside. Today was just meant to be Central Hall and the outdoor area too because I feel like there's enough going on out here. we got to show it. You got it. So the weather today is perfect. Um, I will say that the, it's chilly, right? Like a little bit of wind, but for us Idaho folks, uh, this is fantastic. Hopefully the wind's not too bad on your mic. That's why we got the little yeah. fuzzy guys on there. It, should it help, is. I apologize. It's never perfect. So we have cars over there. You want to go see cars, Dane? Yeah. We do have Adam's booths outside. Quick Jack, Max Jacks, Cool Boss. Oh, Coke tracker. check out that Z on the lift over there, that purple one. I know. Dane, we're going to go see some cars really quick, though. That's cool. There we go, we got some super action. Oh yeah, that smell. This is sweet. So is this like a... Damn. Having a little fun. Yeah. It smells great too. It does. so quiet though. Yeah. So what's funny is that, remember BMW at the Continental one, right? Yes. Where we did that. It was very farty. Yes. All, all those years. When they had the M3s Right? It. He knows. That was one of my, that was one of my mom's favorite experiences doing I that. Know, I know. Yeah. Absolutely. I know. I know. <laughs> no, that was it. How, you been out here long? You been enjoying it? You just got here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're having fun. Heck yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Scott. Not everybody knows the industry term for the little fuzzy bits, but yes, they are called dead kittens, so it's not for everybody. Who said that? Well, he said the dead cats are doing wonders, and I'm like, well, dead cats are the big fuzzies, dead yeah. kittens are the little fuzzies. 
So that and now you know. That would just look like a ton of fun. That's the name of the little fuzzy muff with on top of the microphones. But hey, they're working. That's the important part. Yeah. Because let me tell you, it is not not windy out here. It's real breezy. I forgot my badge. As evidenced by his badge flying around. I know. Oh, here Ooh, we go. That's sick. NSXs. They just don't get the love, you know? Everybody just wants an original NSX, so it's tough. That's sweet. Pike's Peak hill climb. That's sick. What is going on here? That's got to be a wrap. A lot of trucks, as usual. I will say, to their credit, despite having a BMW inline six, like those M3s did, these are not nearly as farty. Sound. No, they don't sound that farty at all. It's very different. So, with, so this is eBay Motors and Hoonigan, the drift experience. Mm. It's quite the line. But I think if you were to get here first thing in the morning, you could probably get in and out. Now, Jimmy kept talking about a Toyo tire thing we had to go check out because okay. he said that the cars there were of... I feel like we're definitely in the wrong place for that. <laughs> well, we don't know that, Dane. Well, yeah, you could be right. And I don't have a map, honestly. I'm just kind of walking, doing the day. We're just thing. walking, figuring it out. How would you say the crowds are this year compared to 2019? Um, pretty good, right? I mean, I, I don't know. What would you say? Because I'd say compared to 2019, the crowds seem down in size, but yeah, the enthusiasm's still there. People are stoked. And I'm going to get copyright struck for this, so I can't wait. Ah, uh, Nate Trump says the Toyo Tires trip passes off of the South Hall. Dang it. <laughs> so really, the, the worst possible well, no, place to well, go no, from here. No we, no, we, no, we could get to there, outside. Yeah. We could, okay. We're making our way around to the back side okay. over by the South Hall. I was going to say, otherwise I'll just save that for my South Hall day. No, no, we can, we can make it out there. Okay. And then this will be a true yeah. indoor, central, outdoor experience. Maybe then you guys will really get to experience what it's like to walk around here. Also, look at the right, man. Look at these little guys. Yeah. Love that. Go Power Sports. That's sweet. <laughs> Those look like so much fun. Oh, dang, the Groms and the monkeys in the back. Oh. I love that. I got the horses in the back. It's 10 horses in the back, specifically. <laughs> Ten, ten horse, horses in ten, the back. Ten horses in the back. Horse stack is attached. Yeah, no, we'll be over there before too long, Dane. Yeah. It's not going to take us that long to get over there. Um, Nate, I know you're watching this. We wish you were here. There would have been some pretty cool photo opportunities for sure. Nate, I took a lot of photos. The ones you see initially look like garbage because the settings were all wrong, <laughs> but after that, <laughs> things really improved. I took way more photos than I needed to, but you'll see, <laughs> well, there we'll see when I upload today. A lot of, a lot of duplicates there, too. Well, we, uh, everything is like, a, it's got the burst function on, so it's just bursting. Yeah. <laughs> it's bussing. Yeah, I think it'll be fine. It'll get the job done, yeah. for sure. But, man, Mother's has quite a few different areas yeah. out here. I'm guessing, what, three different areas, Dane? Is what it seemed like. It's definitely a few. Uh, at so, least two or three that I've seen. Pretty Check big. Check out this guy. This Jeep's looking good. Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> Nate Trump, that's not funny. What did he say? He said, take the lens cap off. That'll help. <laughs> yeah. No, he did have the lens cap on earlier. It was hilarious. <laughs> said, Dane, you're probably going to need to remove that. Uh, well. Meekum auctions over here, Dane. Oh, my God. These, what? I was going to say, look at the left here. Look at this blazer, and then they put a cat eye Silverado nose on it. Dean, I don't like it. <laughs> Little, I'm thinking that's something Levi would like. I do not care for it, but Levi might enjoy that. I think it's haunting. Thing. <laughs> Meanwhile, 69 Camaro SS, who doesn't like those, right? What's that? I said, Meanwhile, 69 Camaro SS, who doesn't oh, like no, those, you. right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, then we've got, ooh. Got a wide array of cars along this stretch. I thought I saw Danny Trejo. <laughs> I thought I saw Danny Trejo no, earlier. Did you really? Ye yesterday. I swear I thought I saw Danny Trejo. No, I'm walking by and I'm just like, is that? And I wasn't sure, so you don't want to say anything. But. And we also walked past a girl that looked like the girl from The Girl Next Door. 
Um, uh, what's your name? Elisha. Oh. Uh, what's your name? You know, I'm just, you know, talking about yeah, the Yeah, Elisha Cuthbert. Yeah. Saw Mostly know her from like, the show 24. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so we're making our way over here. So this right here is a massive truck row of the tallest things. Like, well, this one. Go stand next to this one. I need to have you it's for scale. It's ridiculous, Zane. Understand that Anthony is over six feet tall. I don't know, guys. Is that big enough? Is it ever big enough? <laughs> Need that whistling diesel monster max out here, man. Yeah. Put it to shame. That's the one thing you could do to one up. Oh, this one's even taller. It's crazy. Holy smokes. <laughs> Dane on this incline, how are your legs feeling? Like garbage, but I'm marching on. Okay, keep getting these guys to the side over here. Oh man. Out of all these, I think I would have to drive one of these old Fords here, the blue one or the white one. Dane, I'm going to take the thing here at the end. <laughs> oh, you're just going to take the super duty on tracks, I see. Yeah. Just to make sure when you run over something, you truly smush it. Yeah. <laughs> Deer everywhere, cowering in fear. Little doggy. Then... Jeeps that don't oh really do. Oh my God, it's a BMW 8 Series. Now I'm excited. I know, I thought you would yeah. see that and get excited. How can Dane. I not? Finally, the dang cars. So there's some Liberty Walk uh, Lambos over here that you'll like as well. This is sick. You like it, Dane? I love it. If only they had ever built an M8. They made a prototype, but that's as far as they ever got. The whole appealing thing about this is a pillarless coupe. You got no B pillar. You roll the windows down. You the back and front windows down. It's just an open hole all the way across. Super cool. That's a good license plate there. Love it. Oh, I love that. Everybody wants to see JDM cars, apparently, according to the poll. Oh, okay. But I think they'll like these over here, Dane. I mean, they're Liberty Walk. In a sense, they're but do you, do, do you see the But do you see the wrap on it? Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah. So, if you guys didn't catch our TikTok this from yesterday... This is a thing now, though. Go check out our TikTok from yesterday, where Jimmy was filming, and he had Jack with him, and they went and talked to Toshi from Liberty Walk. Yeah. And they actually rubbed down this exact... The Venador right here. They rubbed, oh my god, they, I just looked behind you and I, I don't know what to think. Did you say they rubbed it down, Dane? They rubbed it down. They rubbed it up, they rubbed it down, left and right. I don't know. Okay, <laughs> we're going to find this Toyo experience yes. one, one, one way or another. Good lord, um, this is... There aren't really words for that. <sighs> There's a Type R for you. Oh my gosh, finally. It's in the color you like. I don't like the moving kit on these though. That it's see that little, rear? It's a little busy. No, it's Thanos-y. Yeah. Look at look at the chin. It's, it's a uh, Thanos yeah. chin. Yeah, it's got it's got chins. It's definitely different. I do like that super though, Dane. The US Navy Supra over there. See that? Oh yeah. Get ourselves a C eight here. This blue is very TRC blue. Oh, and then there's that insane body kit on that white C8 in front of you. Remember this? Yeah. It's just bonkers. Definitely not for everybody. Both of them, too. I actually oh, had yeah, two both of them. them. Oh, wow. Yeah. Coming out of the south wall and turn left. Yeah, we're the towel people. <laughs> Anthony, you missed that guy behind me. He's like, wait, the rag company, isn't that where you get your towels? And he points out. And, oh, that's yeah, nice. that's nice. We've been getting a lot of that lately. We have. I had to get through that crowd, it's nice though. nice to know. It was getting pretty crazy in there. So I don't know where this... <laughs> where, where is this Toyo thing at? We're now at Ad Optima. Man, you think this Hummer's wide enough? Sheesh. Oh, that interior is a little different. 
Hold on, guys. I gotta adjust my mic. It slid down. I am so I am so lost. So for reference, this back here used to be where the tents were, and there's these giant tents, right? Yes. They were great, and we were out there for a couple of years, and they were. I don't know. We really really liked them. Yeah. Um, let me see a SEMA. Well, the performance pavilion used to be right here. Yeah, let me go. It was a big tent. I gotta pull the map, man. That's like what Toyo. we did. Let's see, uh, SEMA 2022 map. That's what I'm looking for, right? Yeah. Okay. And right. Todd, if you're interested in the Golden Nugget, you want to okay. scroll back to the beginning of the stream. We actually talked to uh, Robbie Layton. South Hall Bronze. In the booth lot. there, Prismatic Powders. Platinum lot. I'm so confused, guys. I don't know where the Toyo thing is. <laughs> I really wanted to take you out to there. If I can find it around here, it has to Worst case to scenario, exist. when we're at the South Hall, uh, say tomorrow, I'll be yeah. able to walk us around then. SEMA 2022 Toyo. Tread Pass. Tread Pass. Where is the Tread Pass? I know we went by it when we were heading over here the first place, but I don't remember where what? we saw it. What? We walked by and you didn't say anything? Well, that was that was when we came down here in the boring tunnel and all that stuff. That was way before we started recording. <laughs> it's, it's a whole thing. Okay, that's what the, it looks kind of looks like right there. Yeah. Where would that exhibit exist? Outdoors. There's a building next somewhere. to it. It's got to be around here somewhere. Guys, uh, I just want to stress again, SEMA is enormous. Yeah. You think, Dane? You think it's just a little enormous? I don't think it's out here. Yeah. No. Okay, we're going to head. What's, it, it goes that way more? Hold on. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to end this right now. I'm going to call Jimmy. Yeah. Call Jimmy on the stream here. I hope he picks up. I say, hey, Jimmy, help me. <laughs> help, I'm lost. I'm having a very. Yo, where's this Toyo place at? The Toyo place, the Tread Pass. Yes. Outside, well, I'm in the back. So I'm by the old. I'm by our old where the where the tents were. Remember where the remember where the tents were? Yeah. I think okay. if you go under the overpass, it takes you to the. Tread pass. Northeast side? No. No, I'm by I'm by where our old booths were, the with the tents. Here, Anthony, go under the overpass. The old but I think there's just traffic there. It's not a I don't know. It's not really a place. I don't Okay. Sorry, we're lo we're uh, loading. Loading. Yeah, sorry we'll to all the viewers we lost here, but yeah, we'll we're basically it. We'll figure it out here soon. <laughs> lost. Uh, Nate, you don't have to scream. I saw your comment, but the underpass is what? literally just an area where traffic goes. There's no exhibits down there. Oh, we're I am the here area between under the, the central... building that has I'm all the, the Southern that's Hall right the now. underpass, and that's not. Back, got it. Okay, cool. All right, bye. Southern Hall and Central Hall between the two on the back side. That's so why. so we did walk past it apparently. Well Nate's in here in the comments screaming all caps. Oh my god, Dave, look at my comment. It's like I read it, it just it doesn't make sense. <laughs> Cause he says it's under the overpass, and I'm like, the overpass is where all that traffic is. That's not a yeah. area where people go. There's sidewalks down there, but there's no exhibits. Dane, what do you want to get for lunch today? You have your option of burger, pizza, tacos. What's that? So what do you want to get for food today? I can't hear a word you're saying. What do you want to get for food today? What are you interested in? Oh, Lunch. I don't know. I gotta do something healthy, so. Okay. That's All right. Kind of show we got, fellas. So this is South Hall right here. Oh. <laughs> now I'm looking up. Thanks, guys. Also, in case you're wondering, I cannot see everybody's comments. I mean, 
that's the lowest score. The full time. They disappear after a few seconds, so if I see them, I catch them. But otherwise, you'll have to repeat yourself. What's but if you guys happen? got questions, feel free to throw them What's out. What's going to happen? I'm going to see this place. I'm going to say, wow, I'm a dummy. It's been here this entire time. <laughs> yes. But genuinely, right now, I still don't know where the heck it's at. Because we walked back this way, right? Yeah. There's a central hall. We literally just walked this entire thing. Between South and... It literally Steen. Yeah, I know. It, it literally song. says it, but where? But where? So that's where I was getting lost, because I know for a fact this is the overpass here. Under the overpass, that's where traffic is. That's not a place where they put booths. That's what I'm trying to say, Dane. That's why I was like, what are you talking about? <laughs> Between the South and Central Hall. Because, guys, to put it in perspective, if you don't know, I'm going to walk over here. See that? That's just traffic. Just a road that goes underneath the building. And it goes over there. There's a hall up above. But the tread pass appears to be outside, so that's where it's a little, a little confusing. He's getting, he's getting blind. Anyway, I'll be doing a different haul each day, so I can't wait to uh, mix things up, go to another haul, and potentially get lost again, because that's what seems was good for. Same, Dane. <laughs> And uh, to those who are watching and thinking, my God, SEMA just looks like a bunch of walking around. Well, yes, this that's is exactly, exactly what it is. is. Okay. That's about 75% okay. of what it is. Okay, so here's the deal, Dane. <laughs> There's the central hall, right? Uh -huh. That's the south hall. Okay. I don't see anything. <laughs> Maybe we go inside. I'm about two. Even though we're not really going to tour the south hall till tomorrow? I don't know where it is. I genuinely. Andre, thank you for appreciating the effort we're putting in here because we really are know trying, guys. Where it's at. Okay, you know what? Let's just turn over here, walk in those doors. Lots of people seem to be going in there. Although I see some monster lines, too. Oh, Nate's saying it's a shortcut. That's why. What's a shortcut? I guess going under the overpass, but I don't know how you were to get there unless you go through one of these lines. Dane, I have no idea. Everybody said it was outside, though. This isn't so bad. We'll be able to get in fairly quick. Check out that Odyssey. Or Sienna, in that case. Toyo. Hmm? Oh, I was just admiring the Toyota van behind you. Okay, let's go over. He says it's above the traffic, under the footbridge. And I'm like, how? <laughs> above the traffic? It's just, it's just the road down there. I didn't think there was anything in between that. How are you supposed to? This is just a blind call, man. I feel like I'm losing my mind right now. <laughs> I know, I am losing my mind. Um, maybe if we go out back. Is it out back? Like, if we go, if we go in here and we pass to the back side. I mean, you guys are experiencing this in real time. We are losing your minds. So that's fun. How many steps have I walked today? Hold on, let me check. <laughs> oh, uh, so many steps. Okay. What time zone is SEMA? Kirby Thompson, it is Pacific Standard Time. Only walked 10,000 steps is ridiculous. Okay, so Nate, Nate sent me a picture. Unfortunately, I can't pull it up or else it'll end the stream. So he's yeah. gonna have to send it to you. Yeah. So please do that, Nate. I'm telling you, there. Okay, there's Nate's picture. New level okay. auto said two dollar super chat. Whoa, thank you. I'm gonna clap that. Anthony will clap when his hands are ready too. <laughs> <laughs> See the bridge on the right? It's in the south. It's a hall upper. Use the sky bridge. So basically, we have to go up to the <sighs> staircase. <laughs> okay, so no, we can get back but through I, this. I thing. thought it was outside. That's why I was like, that doesn't. That's not. Physically possible. I, I think we can go out through the back here. I'm gonna burn this place down, Dean. Um, okay. Turn 14. Nate just says keep going. Okay. I'm gonna go up to this place. I'm gonna say, hey, <laughs> you guys screw it up. This is hard to find. Imagine how great it'll be when we get there, and then you'll be like, yeah. So anyway, I guess we're done. So yeah. walk away. <laughs> Okay, 
throw. We're in 303's booth. That's cool. Nate is screaming, take a right now, but he doesn't realize there's a delay. He probably meant the stairs that were in the entrance. Oh, my God. Oh. <laughs> Do you think we can make it out through this back way, Dane? Anthony, they're face palming so hard right now. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I'm just following Anthony. I realize you're probably right. It's probably back there where the stairs were. Dude, I'm at the mercy of this guy's directional can, choices. I don't, Dean, I don't have any directional choices. I'm just going. He says it parallels the freeway. Parallels the freeway. I hope this is ex as excruciating for you viewers as it is for us. So. I'm sure it's even more so because you have no yeah. control over what they're doing right now. Same time. I hope you guys are having a lovely day. And a wonderful time watching this, enjoying it vicariously through our oops, eyes. Oops, sorry, about that. Oops, excuse me. Oh, sorry. oops, sorry, dude. Okay, so right. here we here we go. So here's the thing: we might be able to get to there through here, potentially. So this is the hall. I wasn't gonna go through until later. But no, no, Dane. We're back in the central hall. We're in the central hall. Yeah, Andre, Trying. this is what it really feels like to be at SEMA, lost. Hey, look, we're back at Lexus and Toyota. So. Oh, my God. Hey, oh Nate. My God. Sorry, I know you're watching this right now. Okay, where do we go? Mitchell, I use Continental tires on my cars, yeah. too. Well, Kumo and yes. Continental. Continental for the Jag, Kumo for the van. That's because Kumo's are road ventures, big knobby mud terrains. No, because I wasn't there. I wasn't there for that. Gee, Davis is right. Go to the Lost Kids booth and call home. Georgina, yes, the struggle is real. This really is what SEMA's like in real time. You are experiencing. When you have to be somewhere, it's way harder than just wandering and enjoying the wandering. So many steps by the end of the day, it's ridiculous. All right, so you obviously <sighs> see the street. I'm going outside. <laughs> this is wild. Guys, if you have booths you want us to see, I may not be able to see them until tomorrow at the rate we're going here. But I can make a point to stop by some if you guys have some specific stuff that you're interested in. Whew. Ah, uh, van life. So, Thank you, Jay Davis. I'm feeling thinner slightly. Each passing day is a little better. Oh my God, we're doing this again. Cracked up. So this is Inception. So right now, guys, I am uh, I'm talking and talking to Next Day Nate on the phone, and I can't take a left here. I can't take a left here. This doesn't isn't look a thing. like a place you can go, man. No, I can't. It's a it's an alley. It's just a bunch of cop cars and ambulances. <laughs> no, I dude. can't go. I can't go <laughs> you that can't way. Go down there. No, there's nobody going that there's way. There's a patrol Nate. literally walking it, so you don't. Dane, Dane, turn around. He wants, he wants, Nate wants to see this. <laughs> that doesn't really look inviting. <laughs> Keep okay. 
<laughs> All right. Oh my god. This is hilarious because it doesn't. You know, it doesn't look like it's like that on the map, but it is. Okay, so see, guys, this is what I was talking about. This is just a street. There's no access to anything along there at all. <laughs> so anybody who says you can just go walking down that thing, no, you cannot. There's nothing there. <laughs> Holy cow, Dooley's on a beetle. That's a new one. Wow. So I gotta go through the thing that says not. Okay. Now I'm just going over here. Well, this is a very exciting stream, guys. Sorry to drag you along in a wild goose chase. For those of you that stuck around this long, you guys, oh are, you guys are champions. This is insane. Guys, how are there still almost a hundred of you watching this? I, no, like I'm genuinely like I don't know how a place could be so hard to find. That's supposed to be one of it's the amazing. biggest, biggest exhibits here. So here's here's court for you guys. here's the only thing I can think of is that it could be up there, but it's got to be outside. So this is the South Hall, which we don't want to show all of the South Hall. But I just want to cut through it. <laughs> Joey, yeah. imagine having a computer on your wrist that could help navigate you. I have a computer on my wrist that measures how many steps I take, but that's about it. <laughs> Not my heartbeat, just making sure I don't have a heart attack. The basics, you know? Whew. Okay. I've never... Now we're in the wheel and tire hall, I think. Which means we could actually talk to Scott if we run across him. Dane, I feel like, I feel like I'm losing my mind. <laughs> People are saying, why not ask someone as if we haven't done that already a hundred times. Yeah. It, every uh, time we're told something, it just makes less sense. Like I asked Jimmy, like literally where it is and he still didn't able to. Nate says able. it should be all the way at the back left. Back left, that's where I'm heading. Okay. Dane, I gotta pee again. Alrighty. Oh my god. Sorry. Well, certainly got a live stream. Whether it's Anthony's or this actual stream, either way, we got you covered. So, right now, taking a momentary break from walking and uh, being very lost. And, uh,. Damn, I see Cooper Tire at the end. Don't cross him. Whoa, whoa. Don't cross the streams. Hey, nice Ghostbusters joke. You're a couple days late, but I'll take it. Whew. All right. So, anyway, waiting for Anthony to get back. In the meantime, of course, we have ourselves. We've got Cooper. We've got Hunter. We've got Goodyear. All kinds of fun stuff. Nice layout of all kinds of different classic wheels and tires. Andre, I want to hang out with you guys next year. This looks like fun. It is fun when you're just wandering, like you're not actively trying to find something specific. The real frustration comes with trying to find something specific and it's not in an obvious hall. And hey, I see our friends over there. We're going to have to go talk to Scott over at Koenig. That's the idea. We'll go talk to him in a little bit, if he's around. Um, otherwise... 
I hope you guys have been enjoying the stream so far. Hopefully Anthony comes back soon and we can continue our journey to the Toyo Tread Pass, which we've been remarkable at not finding. Anthony, over here, please. All right, welcome back to another two hours of pain here on the uh, Rag Company uh, live Anthony, stream. Anthony, I've got a request for a booth number okay. along with a super chat to encourage you to go to that booth number. Okay. And I don't know if that booth is in here. That's the hard part. If it's not in here, I apologize. <laughs> I can't afford to go there we, right now. We, I, can, I can tell you, if you send me an email, dane at theragcompany.com, that is my email. Go ahead and send me a booth number request. Let me know you were the one who commented that, and I will make a point to go there tomorrow. <sighs> no, guys, this has been... Because this has been so chaotic. This and you paid for a super chat. I want to respect that, so... I might be able to go there now, but everything here is like 42,000. Yeah, we're nowhere near that. Yeah, I'm so sorry, guys. This uh, this was not supposed Jerry to... Jerry Lewis telethon, yeah. This uh, this was not supposed to be as uh, clunky as well, it was. I wasn't was. even coming through this hall until later, although I did want to... Koenig's over there. I wanted to say hi to Scott. We will do that tomorrow, I think. Yeah. I think we're going to have to because... we got to come up with a time we can do the podcast with him. Yeah. So, because what we're going to do is we're going to... Go check this out. Then we're gonna uh, cut. Next the level auto says it's just upstairs from us. What's up? I what? guess the booth that next level auto wanted to see is upstairs. So maybe after Toyota Trail Pass, we can stop by. We what, could, what do you want to see in the booth? So yeah. So well, here's what we can do. We can do the true South Hall experience tomorrow, which I think would be yeah. Appropriate. I was gonna do the full South Hall deal. What tomorrow. I think I'm gonna do is I want to get you guys. Oh no! He says the bathroom is right next door to the. Okay. I'm sorry, dude. It's just so... <sighs> it's, it's crazy. Unless you're walking this, you have no idea how <sighs> this is. Um, if we'll this, we'll if go this... back because I'm doing a South Hall tour. Okay. I'm doing a different there, hall Okay, so day. there is a door back here. So if this doesn't take us to where I think <laughs> it's going to take us... You're just going to scream and I'm gonna, throw I'm gonna, I'm going to burn this mother to the ground. <laughs> nice. Okay. The South Hall is much more is much quieter though. I will say. Yeah. Though. No. Next level detail. Uh, I I will be back here tomorrow. So if you don't see it happen today, just know Antonio. I'm doing the same kind of tour tomorrow in this hall, so you can get a better look at it. Cause right now, we're just trying to go see Trip Pass. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> Whew. Boy, they really make you work for it though. Oh my God, there's a sign. Where? Look ahead. No way. Dane, we would have never gotten here. No, we wouldn't have. We would have never gotten here. And we walked back and forth three times. They're ridiculous. What we needed somebody to say was, don't tell us what it's between. Yeah. Just say, walk to the back of the South Hall. Yeah. And, and I said, and, and, and I would have said, okay. Back that's, of that's South Hall. It's easier to understand than <laughs> some of the Holy other suggestions. Crap. That was crazy. Oh my God. That was crazy. So yeah, we will be back in this hall, Anthony and I. Ling Long tires tomorrow. Dane. Yes, Ling Longs indeed. That's not a joke. That's a real. Is a tire real. Company. Is a real tire company. Yep. Wow, that's um, a they're good shutting down here, yeah. the food over there. Okay. All right. There's no door, Dane. So. Let's see. It's 158. <laughs> Imagine we're stopped by a two-foot barrier. I will jump it. <laughs> I can't jump anymore. Oh my God. Okay. We made it guys. The struggle is real. So do we have to sign oh, anything? Yeah. Okay. Oh, we've got to show this because I know Gabe and a lot of the viewers are going to be interested. Toyo Tread Pass. Okay. North right here, Hall. Anthony. Central Hall. International Harvester. <laughs> All right. So we're going to go 
in, and then Dane, Nate says we're, at the, we're gonna go out of the front of the tread pass to prove that he's not crazy. Okay. Because he says that this should kick us out right where we think it's gonna kick us out. Oh, we just walked past a sick FD. Okay, so this is bullshit. <sighs> wow, Jesus, you really have to. Like you really... how, how how does anybody so know this is back here? I what guess the hell? you could have <laughs> potentially walked. Okay, so that's where we were. Clear down there. That's Guys, where the overpass is. Okay. That's why I didn't believe you when you this said this is it's literally between the overpass and the thing because this is, this is so the freeway. far away this is from ridiculous. everything. This is so far away from everything we would have never ever 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 Absolutely ever thought that it was nuts. gonna be like this. Yeah. It's insane, dude. <laughs> We just did the biggest loop for no reason. We could have also gone. This shortcut looked easy enough. What are you looking for? We were looking for the tread pass, and this oh my god! This still feels like I'm in the backwoods of this. Oh, yeah. of this, exhibit. this doesn't feel right. We were out in okay. the boonies. Oh. Man. Okay. Okay, Dane. Well. We walked all this way. Okay, okay. Literally, look at this. We're literally with the pallet and and the forklift. Yeah, so don't tell me that side. this is a this yeah. is a. Yeah. This Anybody is not, who who says to us, oh, it's is, obvious. Why don't you no, just go over that? No, it's not exhibit. obvious. This, this is <laughs> literally in the back where they shouldn't store. Anything. I love you guys, but everybody who acted like yeah. this is super easy can uh, can hush. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, let's go ahead and see. Let's see the cool cars. Okay. Holy cow. This is pretty cool. Oh my God, those wheels, those are sick. Man. Those are crazy. So this is actually that so- That front clip on that Corvette C5 is wonky, I know. man. That's funky. That's cool though, its own way. Sweet Maverick, very retro 90s colors, love that. We got the RWPs in force out here. That FD is insane. Wow. Oh, wow. Look at yeah. that. Yeah. Now I've lost Anthony. I don't know where he is. That is holy crap. This is crazy. Oh yeah, it's crazy. Was it worth it, Dane? Those side pipes are sick. Was it worth it? I'm just glad I'm here. I don't know if I'd do that again, though. That was that was a lot. Yeah. Oh my God. Okay, there's a 935 looking Porsche over here. I gotta go look I at. I know, I know. You gotta go see that. Gotta but gotta look at this, that. though. This Audi's sick, dude. I know. Okay, look at look at the, okay look at the motor on that. What's under the hood of this one? I have no freaking idea what that is. I'm gonna walk up this way because I haven't seen any of that. Okay. 
Is that an El Camino? I just want to see this 935 looking one. Ooh, long tail. Oh, this is sick. Wow. Oh, this is a beauty. Uh, Todd, I believe there are some other community donation vehicles there. I think we cleaned one or two in the parking lot on the pre-show day. Oh, it's a ranchero, sorry. It's just so cleaned up, I'm not used to seeing rancheros in this condition. Wow. Huh. Definitely thorough. Yeah, that's not the original interior. <laughs> wow, beautiful. I just love this thing. Nine nine one here. It's got the GT two style wing on the back. Porsche looks like a sandal you can drive. That's a good way of describing it. Like that. And then of course, there's this very, very done up Mercedes SL. <laughs> Sorry, man, I'll get out of your way here. It's cool. <laughs> there you go. Well, of course, it's got an LS1 in it. Yeah, let's go ahead and go out there. That was just mad. Evo wagon out there too. Ooh, sign me yeah. up. The best kind of Evo. Also, this beautiful Fair Lady Z over here. Or as I think some people like to say for fun, Fair Ladies. There we go. Bless you. All right, Anthony, you're an Evo man. You stick with yours, or would you take a wagon version of yours over the sedan? I will say these window visors are so rare, it's not even funny. Yeah, I bet that is. Because it's they don't make them for the back. Yeah, the wagon shape is different, so. But the rear is the same, though. So the rear seats and then headrests. I mean, almost the same. The front's pretty sweet looking. Gregory Thompson, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. You'll be able to catch the rest of the stream later if you feel like tuning in later. And these, of course, will stay up on YouTube for you guys to view anytime. So uh, check them out as you please. We're not quitting just yet, though. We're going to see a few more cars here, and then uh, then we'll probably round it out after that. Just go see a couple more that way, and then I think we will probably round it out. Yeah. Check out this thing right here. It's probably the meanest looking Tesla. 
I was gonna say, yeah, that body kit and the Tesla is something else. It's Model S. I can all but guarantee it gets worse mileage <laughs> with that than it does without. The drag coefficient definitely changes. But still a interesting take on a Model S. All right. Um, all right. So we're going to send this away now. Yeah. And this is my backdrop here. Yes. Uh, just because, uh, yeah, it's been a lot of walking. So all right. we're going to go Tell stop the folks by. Tell home what yeah. they can do. So you can uh, stay tuned for tomorrow where we will go deeper into the uh, South Hall. The bowels and, and of the, the bowels South, of the South Hall. <laughs> and go see everything. Um, this was a lot of walking, a lot more than we expected today, so we apologize so about that. Uh, so you'll have to sift through a lot of this central footage and a lot of this other footage of us getting lost. It, getting lost at SEMA, it's a real thing. It really is, and so you gotta try to see it first. It can hand. happen to a pro like Anthony and we, or I. We've so. been here many times. So uh, <laughs> as always, if you guys enjoyed this video and wanna see more live streams here at SEMA 2022, make sure you have say big thumbs up, subscribe down below for more, and we'll see you tomorrow.